Привіт, привіт, my dear followers. So today we're going to talk about the Ukrainian language law. How will it influence on Ukrainians and foreigners and how to get the citizenship in Ukraine? So, поїхали. So, Ukrainian language law was accepted uh, by Ukrainian government on the 25th of April and it came into force on the 17th of July this year. And um, this law protects Ukrainian language as the only one official uh, language. And I think that's a very good law. I'm super happy that it was accepted. And I'm going to tell you more about it. And um, you know, a Ukrainian language was um, created in the 13th century. It is such an old language. It is such a beautiful language. But uh, it was uh, forbidden many times. Uh, Ukrainians couldn't use it, couldn't speak it um, by Russian Federation, also by Poland. Uh, and I think that it's great that uh, Right now it's got the official status of the language and I believe that in Ukraine people must speak Ukrainian and not Russian. So what are the new changes for Ukrainians? Ukrainian language will dominate in public sector, in local self-governments, in non-governmental organization, in science, in healthcare, uh, in energy sector, in industry, in media, uh, also in um, theater. You will watch the plays only in Ukrainian language, also in publishing the books um, uh, on um, TV. Of course, uh, on radio, there is also a very cool uh, law uh, and in armed forces and in law enforcement. Where other languages may be used? Other languages may be used in private communication. So uh, you can use any language, whether it's English, Russian, Chinese, Portuguese, uh, when you communicate with your family, friends, so nobody cares about it and nobody uh, forbids it. And also in religious uh, rights, um, any language can be used and also in cultural life of national minorities. Um, also, uh, if uh, they are going to school or to university, uh, they can also um, study their native language in Ukraine, so it is also okay. And um, if you are um, a foreigner or a Ukrainian who um, doesn't speak Ukrainian very well, our government uh, has created free courses of the Ukrainian language and uh, you can freely um, register to them and study with the professional teachers for free. So that's a very great opportunity to improve uh, your knowledge and to obtain a very good how will the law influence on foreigners? So I want to say, if you are going to Ukraine as a tourist, there won't be any changes or problems for you. Uh, of course, uh, all service um, people will speak Ukrainian. They must speak Ukrainian due to the law. But um, of course, uh, in such cities as Kiev, Lviv, Odessa, um, service people can speak English, maybe not really good. Uh, but it won't be any difficulties for you, I'm sure. If you're a foreigner who uh, lives in Ukraine, then you start studying the Ukrainian language. Uh, if you um, have a work in Ukraine or if you would like to find a work in Ukraine, you should know that all documentations and papers um, are in Ukrainian language. Uh, or if you're going to study in Ukraine, uh, of course, uh, there are two ways. Uh, you can um, study some subjects in Ukrainian or you can study some subjects in English. But be ready that if you want to get education in English in Ukraine, you will pay in two, three times uh, more than in Ukrainian. And anyway, it's um, going to be very useful for you to know Ukrainian because you are going to 
live here and to communicate with different people and if you are going to buy some stuff at supermarket or market be ready that uh, service people will speak um, Ukrainian to you also like in bars in restaurants or in cafe let's talk about the citizenship and how to get it in Ukraine the law states if you're a foreigner and you want to get the citizenship here so you must uh, to prove your knowledge of the state language you must take the test uh, the language test i mean and there is um, an exception if you're a foreigner or a stateless person and you have contributed an outstanding service to Ukraine, then you don't need to take the test immediately. You have one year ahead to be prepared for the test. Yeah, you can again um, take the free um, state courses and to study the language with the professional teachers. Yep, um, here in Ukraine there is some special programs for you. Uh, uh, so what is the outstanding um, service? So if you serve for Ukrainian um, armed forces or if you're a sportsman who decided to join our Ukrainian sport team, then uh, it is um, uh, allowed for you don't to take this te test just right away. Paying for the language. If the Ukrainian government will find a violation of the law on language in service sector, then, the, then they declare uh, their warnings and give uh, people 30 days to, um, to deal with the situation. And if um, they will find the second violation, then uh, the service people will have to pay their fine and this fine um, is approximately from $180 to $225 yeah so um, this um, law uh, and this um, violation of it uh, it uh, denotes to the Ukrainians only right now so today I have told you about the Ukrainian language law, how it influences on Ukrainians and foreigners, how to get the citizenship in Ukraine, and also uh, that Ukrainian service people will pay a fine if they violate the uh, law on uh, the language. Yep, I think uh, this law is very important uh, for Ukrainians because it protects our uh, official uh, state language uh, but you need to uh, remember that this law uh, doesn't forbidding people on the uh, daily basis to speak Russian or English etc so that's it uh, if you would like to study the Ukrainian language then uh, you can write on my mail and in my um, online school of the Ukrainian language I will be so happy to um, to help you to study the language very fast and effectively and I have created a customized and optimized course uh, and um, I have very professional teachers who will help you to reach your language goal very fast and to take a test uh, here and to get the citizenship in Ukraine so that's it I hope it was very useful let me know what you think about this law and do you have the same law in your native country